Though often left out of discussions about racism and policing, policing black mothers has been crucial to white supremacy in America from the nation's origins to today. Under the system of chattel slavery, black women were commercially valuable to slaveholders for their reproductive labor. White enslavers maintained the racial order and increased their wealth by devising a political apparatus that gave them legal control over black women's childbearing. One of the colony's very first laws, a Virginia statute enacted in 1662, gave children born to enslaved black women who were raped by white men the status of their mothers so the children too could be enslaved. In other words, black women gave birth to enslavable children, even if the fathers were white. The law cast black women's wombs as the producers of their children's subjugated condition, an ideology that still supports racist policies and institutions today. Politicians, researchers, and the media have treated black women's childbearing as an urgent social problem. They routinely circulate stereotypes about black maternal irresponsibility to support birth control, welfare reform, foster care, and law enforcement policies that police and punish black women's childbearing. Thousands of black women across the country were sterilized without their voluntary consent in federally funded welfare programs as late as the 1970s. In the 1980s and 1990s, medicine promoted a now discredited claim that crack cocaine used by black women during pregnancy deprived these women of maternal instinct and caused their babies, labeled with the stigmatizing moniker crack baby, to suffer from uniquely devastating social deficits. Prosecutors charged hundreds of black mothers with fetal crimes and child welfare authorities took newborns from thousands more. Then images of the mythical welfare queen fueled Congress's abolition of the entitlement to welfare, allowing states to pass laws aimed at deterring women receiving public assistance from having more babies. All these policies make black mothers the scapegoats for social problems caused by structural inequities. Black feminists have been at the forefront of transforming the dominant framework of reproductive choice to one of reproductive justice, which centers the experiences of women of color and places reproductive and parenting rights in their political context of racism, sexism, homophobia, and economic oppression. The fight for reproductive justice for black mothers is an essential part of the broader struggle for racial justice.